Well, thank you, Zach. The event is called Ignite, and it's bringing together four churches in this area, and we certainly hope that far more than four churches are represented this coming Saturday when the latest Ignite, uh, I want to call it an event, but mm -hmm. I think it's more than an event, takes place at Restoration Temple. Pastor Brandon Green uh, from Calvary Chapel is here to talk more about what, tell us what event or what Ignite is all about. Ignite is um, an endeavor that um, churches have come together to celebrate Jesus, to lift him up in our city, and to uh, just get into a spirit of agreement to pray for our city and to worship our God. So it's just a really um, beautiful time that we are going to meet together and to see God's kingdom just come through the prayers of the saints as we worship the Lord and we just um, reach out to heaven and, and pray for the city of Lima. We just you know love Lima. We believe in the potential of Lima and know that God's going to do great things here and it's going to be made possible as we get in agreement with heaven. It is so wonderful to see God's people corporately come together mm -hmm. for such important issues. It's so easy for us to complain. We can, we can walk down the streets of Lima. Right. I mean, it, and not that I want to paint a bad picture of it, but you, you can. You can say, oh, this is not good. We can do that in everything in life. But instead, here we have Calvary Chapel, Agape Fellowship, Firm Foundation, and Restoration Temple mm -hmm. uniting together corporately as one to say, we want to see God's blessings and presence on this city. Paint a picture for me of what it's going to be like on Saturday evening. Well, um, the concept is found in the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, the eighth verse. Um, Many times uh, we pray the Lord's Prayer, and part of that prayer is, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So what's taking place in heaven right now is there are the prayers of the saints, which is the bowl, and that's holding the incense of those prayers, and then the harps, which represents worship together. So it's going to be a real ebb and flow as we um, just listen to the Holy Spirit this night, and it's, a, uh, it's two hours, and um, our worship teams are going to merge together, and we're going to worship some, and then we're going to really pray, and then we're just going to listen to God. And so it's going to be a real ebb and flow as we um, pay attention to what the Holy Spirit's prayer agenda is going to be for that night. Now, this is not the first time no. that an event like this has taken place. Right. Um, in the past, how have you seen this to be such a, maybe a strong event, and why did you want to continue? Why do you want to have another one? Well, Psalm 133 talks about how um, behold, or it's amazing to see uh, brethren come together in the spirit of unity and how the anointing is released in the time of unity. And so um, we've really seen in our busy schedules as we've laid our personal agendas down, uh, us coming together corporately to worship God, we've really seen some things happen throughout the body of Christ and prayer needs, and it's so awesome, uh, get answered. And we just see how people that are hurting are lifted up in a service like that as um, we unite together and there's such power and agreement and we see those things that we've been believing God and all of our hearts are, are united at this time. Um, these answers to prayer, it's just really significant and it's pretty awesome to watch. You mentioned something about busy schedules and we all have such busy schedules. Absolutely. But you know, God is still, you know, the Bible talks about us needing to take time. Jesus had so many examples of mm -hmm. walking away and quietly taking mm -hmm. that time. So you're just setting aside two hours. Two hours yes. of an entire week is a small period of time that can do some really big things for God. Absolutely. And really, um, it's the hearts of men and women of God to just lay down again our own uh, personal schedules, our own agendas, and to really put significance to praying for the city of Lima. Yeah. And we just really believe that breakthrough is ahead. So if you're a worshiper and uh, if you're a prayer warrior, uh, if you love the city of Lima, if you belong to a different church, we just invite you to come on out on um, February 28th and uh, really just join with us as we seek God's kingdom and seek God's face, we believe that great things are going to happen this night. Uh, you know, I personally have seen incredible things happen just through the power of prayer. I think it is one of the most, it, it is such an important thing for Christians to be 
delving into every single day because mm -hmm. that that the, it's I don't even know how to put into words the things that God can do mm -hmm. through prayer. And so there's the information where, when, and how. It is called mm -hmm. Ignite, a night of prayer and worship. It is Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m., taking place at Restoration Temple, 708 East Eureka Street in Lima. But like you said, Pastor Brandon, you don't have to attend Restoration Temple. You don't no. have to attend Calvary Chapel. No. This is open for anybody, right? Yes, this is definitely a community um, endeavor. So we are hoping and we are praying that Everyone will make time to just come on out, lift up the name of Jesus, and just uh, be in a spirit of agreement. And we're going to watch God do some awesome things. Amen. That's exciting. Wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for you so much. giving the information and looking forward to that Absolutely. coming up on Saturday. Well, it's time now for one of your favorite segments. It's the Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment. And we are still in the month of February, and we haven't had a chance yet to celebrate National Cherry Month. So Zach is going to bring us a simple recipe today that will just tempt your sweet tooth and also let you enjoy those wonderful taste of cherries at the same time. 